After nearly two weeks of frustration, heartache, and reflection, North Minneapolis neighbors are taking a moment to recharge. And our Norman Seawright is here now with their story. Yeah, Frank, fighting for justice and equity in the wake of George Floyd's death is necessary work, but it is also taxing. Today at Bethune Park, Minnesotans running this race, which is a marathon, not a sprint, took some time to recharge and to recover for the days ahead. Hope is a big factor with everything going on here because it's like, all right, not only are we doing something today, we need to have momentum going and keep that going. This Sunday cookout is a chance to take a step back to practice some self-care. I think that uh, mental health has always been important, but especially right now, um, I think people are responding to um, these crises, the pandemic, um, on, on top of a pandemic in various ways. Um, and our, we're feeling it in our body and we're feeling it in our mind. And it's so important to pay attention to those things. It's very connected. While there are professionals on site to assist with supporting mental and emotional health, financial health, legal health, some of the greatest benefit is just being together. It's been an outpouring from the community. Uh, we're waiting on a couple of donation centers. We're going to be doing the sheriff's office. We've got a warehouse. Uh, we're handing out as we go. People are coming, donating, taking too as well. Um, we've got hundreds of pounds of food. We've got so paper products, stuff. hygiene, um, perishable items, non-perishable items, water, you name it, we have it. And trying to find ways to make the world a better place. We plan to do this for the rest of the summer and take breaks here and there to recharge and whatnot. Our batteries, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. You know, they say that and uh, we're just trying to spread love and have people have high energy. And like you said, there's that optimism, whole hope aspect of everything to make everything get bigger and bigger. The organizers also gave us links to help you connect to therapists and mental health professionals and to help remove the stigma behind seeking that support. Those will be on our website, WCCO.com slash links. And Frank, of course, this self-care is very important. Indeed. Yeah, I'm glad we have those links. Hopefully they'll be helpful to people, Norman. Thank you. No problem.